What's up guys? My name is Potato and this is number 5 of my server Saturdays today. Today has been a very hectic day for me. I've been uploading, rendering, and recording for like the last 4 hours. And um, I know it's only like 10 or 15 minutes per episode or so, but it makes it easier to deal with things, um, to try to find places to go uh, search and everything like that. And I take a little break in between there to get some lunch and kind of, I don't know. Just rest my eyes a bit, I guess. But anyways, this is number 20, and probably will be the last server Saturday on this server. Um, so I'm going to be covering two of the testing facilities that we have uh, on the server, uh, along with a little project that someone did on the outside of Kingdom that I was actually going to show in the last video, but I forgot. So we will end with that. Hopefully I won't uh, forget again. So here we are over here, um, for those of you who didn't know, this is actually Area 51. It was a uh, project that Bunchies, uh, Puddles, and I think Heplay helped with it? Uh, I'm not 100% not sure. Uh, they got an airplane strip here, a little um, a tower thing for airplanes to talk to them. They're like, you know, what's up? I'm an airplane. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to land there. And they're like, all right, shit's cool. And they do it. Uh, over here, I think I've actually visited this place before, before I actually knew what it was, and I read the sign and I kept, I moved on because I, you know, but a lot of people wanted me to come show you guys this, so I'm going to show you this. Um, outside is basically just uh, barracks and stuff like that, helicopter up there, um, personnel processing, please wait to be processed, and uh, they got some desks here. General Puddles, General Bunchies, and Receptionist Simmons. Simoyans. I wonder why there's an extra I in there. Uh, interesting. So, I'm going to move on. It seems like there's someone down there. Oh, it's Bunchies. So we're, we'll see him once we go down into the facility. Uh, here are some barracks where people can sleep and stuff like that. Nothing here. Authorized personnel only. And uh, we will move on through here. It looks like Bunchies is actually probably waiting for us. Oh, shit. I didn't do that. Uh, excuse me, sir. May I come in? I like his helmet. It's very... And his suit. It fits. You know? Boop. There we go. Now what? What is he going to say? Oh shit, decontamination in progress. Fuck! Security checkpoint. Oh, decontamination complete. Awesome. Man, another locked door. <laughs> There's so many locked doors. Oh, okay. Whew! All right, so we're in the facility now. Uh, command center, command center. All right, walk in here, and this is the uh, the war room, I would assume, with a bunch of computers and a huge old map. I would assume locations that they have been to or have uh, agents in, probably. I don't know. I don't know what Area 51 does except for check out spaceships and junk like that. Uh, employee break room, got a vending machine, and it's out of everything. Well, that sucks. Uh, got a kitchen or a sink or something. Big ass refrigerator. Uh, respect others, clean your mess. All right, to command center. Okay, we'll we'll go check out the command center real quick, and then we'll go into uh, the deeper part of the facility. Facility. Uh, these are computers, Minecraft computers, of course. If you don't have people pressing buttons, then what, what are you doing? Uh, people may recognize this uh, room actually from one of our comics uh, that Puddles found. Uh, I went AFK looking up at this at one point, and he took a screenshot of me and made it a, into a comic. Uh, you guys can find that on our website uh, under comic. And just look for the... Uh, 
the Minecraft one with screenshots and junk. Level 2 clearance beyond this point. Okay, I have that. Lab 1. Experiments have yielded early stage anomalies, but nowhere near the size of known nether tears. Hmm. Boop. <laughs> that doesn't do anything. Alright. Testing the nether there, I guess. Down here, lab number two. Material 86X. Material burns in unavoidable or unfavorable condi conditions originally extracted from nether tear in Brazil. Huh. Alright. What does this do? Numbers. Shit. Okay. Better stop that. Boop. Go on down here. Lab number three. They said it couldn't be done, but I not only reproduced the anomaly, but I doubled it. The double portal is full on. Full on, huh? Full on all the way, perhaps? Hmm. I wonder where this goes. Boop, 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 boop. I don't think it, it go, nope, goes nowhere. <laughs> I think it's because we use a different system for portals and stuff like that. Level 3 clearance required, G14 classified. Uh, I have, le oh, whoa, level 3 clearance, thank you very much. Go over here. Mm-hmm, here's the spaceship. I knew they'd have one. It's a sweet elevator system right here this is pretty nifty oh what's that there's a zombie somewhere hmm well I think that's all of area 51 I believe anyways it's pretty cool though um, <laughs> sometimes we go uh, we have these crazy ideas and we're like hey you know they're they're probably just shitting about something They're like we should build area 51 and they they built area 51 and put a bunch of stuff like that in wonder if bunches is still here thank you Boop. thank you sir have a great day say something okay there we go he said good day sir and it is night time and uh I'm going to make my way on over to our other testing facility. And this right here is our Aperture testing facility. Um, it's done by uh, a member of our server and my girlfriend, uh, Leanne. She wanted to do something about that was, or about Portal, I guess, and started off doing these little art things and then did uh, her own facility down below. So we're actually going to go check, whoop, check out the facility because. Uh, there's not much to these except for ooh, those are pretty, you know So uh, the facility entrance right here is through this hole and you drop down into the facility and um, I actually went through this facility uh, on my last live stream so those who watch that you could see how How hard it was for me to get through some of these parts especially since uh, I turned God mode off like you were supposed to And there's uh, Leanne in there right now uh, in her uh, Chell skin, uh, a lot of people don't actually know the name of that the girl in Portal, but her name is Chell. Um, I don't know if it's pronounced that way or not. She's gonna hate this, but I don't care because I'm gonna cheat. I'm just gonna go through the uh, the rooms to kind of show you them. There's little instructions and stuff like that before all of them. Uh, this is a little jumping area where you have to jump over. The lava and stuff. Whoop! I already failed. So I would have died there. But um, going on through here, testing chamber number three. Um, here I am cheating again, but that's okay because I got places to be, and I can't. Whoop! 
uh, I don't have time to go through all of these. Uh, to freedom, to science, to cake. And I believe these two lead you to your death. Uh, we went with science last time and it, would, it, it was the right one. So that's what we're going to go do again. Going to move on through. And on to the next one. And uh, I'm sorry that this isn't very exciting to see me fail through all these and everything like that. But, like I said, I did them already and it was on uh, my live stream. So I think it might actually be recorded on there. You might be able to go to livestream.com slash potato orgy and view the last one. Uh, but I doubt it. I think I turned it off. Uh, you can see that she works her way through between these testing things a lot quicker than I can. And that door, I think she needs to redesign that room, but she won't have time. Because that door is, it stays open after someone's done it. So uh, this was the one that took me the longest to go through because you had to jump across these and it was dark and my, my monitor has too much contrast so it was too dark for me to see and we had like four other people all doing it at once and Brenny was in here knocking me down and everything like that so it was kind of annoying. <laughs> More instructions. Uh, go on through here. Just gonna cheat. I think it's down here. If I remember correctly, anyways. And on to the next area. This is a lot tougher when you don't have God mode and you can't. Oh shit. Um, you can't just simply pass through walls and junk like that. Um, and I ha I've already figured out a lot of the stuff so I know where to go and everything like that but it's it's a chore especially this part uh, <laughs> there she is uh, you're supposed to find the right button amongst all these numbers and junk like that um, I guess this is the oh, U2 R1 R3 I believe the right one is here yeah uh, but if you can tell these buttons right here if you press the wrong ones they will actually lead to your doom see if you were standing there you'd fall down into I believe lava yeah and uh, a lot of these are um, traps but I think it's this one yep that leads to the next area again just unbelievable this part especially right here this was bullshit because the hitboxes in minecraft are stupid and you'll catch fire for no reason even if you can see you barely hit the corners and sometimes you carry momentum through them and everything like that and without god mode you all know how retarded um lava could be because you'll just stay on fire forever and uh it's just it's a pain in the butt and this room right here too as you can see there's a lot of arrows and you're supposed to find the right way through them and the best way that I found when doing this was to take it slow uh, see that one sets off oh maybe I stepped on another one but um certain ones will set off ones later on see <laughs> And so you're supposed to find the, the correct way through these right now. And I think actually most of these are empty. I know there's still a lot of arrows in these ones. Hmm. I don't know. But walking through here was kind of a pain in the butt. And I think actually there's a problem with these buttons. Just so you know, Leanne. Because I know you're going to watch this. Uh, if one is pressed, like that one will stay pressed for a while. And if a bunch of them are repressed, they won't actually go off. Because they'll, they'll stop themselves. Uh, this right here, this hallway was done by Ariza. Where you have to press it and you have to go through quickly because it'll shut on you like that. <laughs> uh, this was also done by Ariza, which you... Or I think Ariza, pretty sure. You have to uh, go through it quickly after it's pressed. Otherwise, it won't, um, won't let you in immediately but this is the exit uh, I know Leanne wasn't really um, happy with the way she had to make it work but that's how it had to work hello and um, 
so that is that. I think this was actually built by us during the live stream when um, we all completed it. There we go. And uh, we're going to finish this video off by warping back to Kingdom. Hopefully the people haven't torn it apart yet. No, it's still together. I know people have been fucking around since we've already saved the map. So people have been kind of messing with other people's stuff since there's no reason or you know, we're going to be resetting the map, so why not, right? Uh, some people talked about blowing it up and setting it on fire and stuff, but we don't have fire spread on, so and I don't feel like turning it on. So that's that. This little project right here is done by someone. I don't remember who said they did it. Uh, let me ask them. Who did the ship in the bottle again? Uh, for those of you who can see the tiny thing, my admin tag is uh, is rainbowed because I'm awesome like that. Uh, apparently, Nico did it, so uh, it's pretty sweet. You know, it's not you don't see a uh, a ship in a bottle on Minecraft very often, so it's uh, pretty awesome. He did want me to mention that it's not legit, <laughs> and I think I uh, I think that's kind of obvious. I think uh, he probably had one of our mods uh, stack uh, the walls of it around it or something, or maybe even copy a ship over from another place. I don't know, but Nico I, was the the main guy who who built the ship. I would assume it's pretty cool though. I like it. It'd be awesome to see like a big ass one of these, maybe in the water. Like I told him, I was gonna sink it. Uh, didn't get around to doing it though. But anyways, that's gonna actually cover all of the servers. Blah, blah, blah. All the servers Saturday videos I'm going to do today. This makes number five, and uh, that's a lot. That's over a month's worth of server Saturdays in one day. Uh, next Saturday, we are going to be launching the new map with season three of server Saturdays. Uh, I'm probably going to make this a TV show by then, just like we did with Team Mongoose Plays, so you'll be able to subscribe to the TV show as well. or Not TV show, because it's not on television, but show as well. So you can get um, uh, automatic updates and everything like that. Uh, since we're already two seasons in, I'll just back catalog all the other ones. Uh, gonna gonna revitalize a lot of things that I do with Server Saturday videos. So season three should be pretty interesting. Uh, but that's not for a whole week, and uh, I got a lot of stuff I got to do before then. So I will guys, I will guys, I will guys see you later. <laughs> I will see you guys later. Um, hope you enjoyed these five videos. Remember to like them. Hell, favorite them if you want. Leave comments. Uh, this is a lot of work for me to do because I was constantly uploading, rendering, and filming all at the same time. <sighs> and I am tired of talking. I'm going to take the rest of the night off and uh, enjoy the rest of my Saturday and not do anything Sunday because I'm exhausted. It's my weekend to enjoy and I will... Leave you guys at that. I'm going to go hang out with them and send stupid songs to all my friends on Spotify. And talk to you guys later. <laughs>